What's your name? It's Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so glasses or no glasses? <laughs> okay. It's your turn for your interview, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna talk all about what you want to learn this year. <laughs> So what's your name? Savannah. What do you look forward to when you wake up? Hugs mm, and breakfast. <laughs> what's your superhero name and what powers do you have? Mm, that's a good one. My superhero name is Electra. My power is electricity. Okay. <laughs> what makes you feel brave? God. Aww. If your stuffies could talk, what would they say? Hi, Mama. <laughs> Where do you want to travel and how would you get there? Hawaii in a plane. How do you think animals communicate? Well, trees, they they can communicate by the roots underground. Oh. Before Daddy does the next question and okay. the others. Long, 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 Who's been your favorite storybook character? Hmm. I would say that's a hard one. It's a hard one? Because it's not God. Any more questions? I think we got some good ones. So Savannah is our bringer of the joy, or keeper of the fun. Stop! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to tell them about one of the biggest changes that we've made for you? Open the school. The school for stuffies. The school for stuffies. So I teach my stuffies there. Yes. <laughs> Such a big girl. She's an incredible reader. You love to write. But the biggest thing that I love about you the most is that you are a nurturer. Do you know what that means? To nurture? It means like you really like taking care of people. Yes, you do. <laughs> when we talk things through about what we wanted to learn this year, Savannah came to me and said that she likes doing school, so we decided that she would open her own school and she would have a school for her stuffies. In addition to her having her own school, she's kind of like a student teacher. Like, you help me. Well, You're like a student teacher. Oh, I get it now. I'm a teacher because I teach the school for stuffies. Yes. <laughs> she takes care of her stuffies and she teaches them along the way. Yeah, my little babies. They're just in preschool. They're in preschool. Because <laughs> she is so used to our normal school schedule. By her having her own school for her stuffies and her own schedule, she is free to join in with whatever we are currently doing or to move along and go through her schedule with her stuffies. Really, the goal is just to spend as much time with her as possible, answering her questions, having fun, listening to the things that she takes note of. I'm going to read it daily schedule. On Monday, drawing time. Well, let me tell. Can I tell them about it? Okay. It starts off with story time, and then they move on to math practice. And then we move on to lunch. Right after lunch. And then she rotates between science and history. They do a little bit of recess. Recess is snack time. <laughs> and then they do a little bit of music and art. <laughs> <laughs> And then for their lunch time, Savannah plans out what they are going to have for lunch. It's oh. really cool because then she gets to go over to her kitchen, her play kitchen, and her Fresh Mart. A really fun yes. way for us to incorporate different learning things. Your very own school for stuffies. 
where you teach them and you learn together. So that's our number one project that we're doing for you. And then our number two project is the garden. Yeah, so Savannah came to me several weeks ago and you ate an apple. She ate the apple, she found the seeds, and then no, she collected the, the seeds. Pear, like, oh, it was a pear? It was like two days ago, and I said, Mommy, seeds, we can use them for the garden. Yeah, so she started collecting her seeds for our garden, right? So that's really gonna be your project, um, watching your seeds grow and recording their growth in how much sunlight and how much water and seeing when they produce fruit and vegetables. So that's what you're going to be working on, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In the fifth book of Zoe and Sasha class, I learned that monkeys can pollinate and so can mosquitoes. And, and not only bees can pollinate, mosquitoes can, monkeys can, I said that, lizards can. I forgot the other <laughs> Well, I'm going to explain after I say what we did. Okay. So, we had a little map, map and we, we used our art books to outline it. We outlined it and then we made a map like, for an example. <laughs> Say we drove to Charlotte and Daddy forgot the direction. We would bring our map just in case. They're basically learning more about geography. Working on their big book of maps. It's all the... Um, I read a couple of them when I was little. Okay, so these are them. So, this one, if I were a fraction. Mm hmm if, if you were an even number. So what's an even number? Two, four, eight, ten. Ten, twelve. <laughs> yeah. That was twelve, six, six, twelve. Six, six. <laughs> okay. Done. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else can we say? So basically, we're reading a lot. We're enjoying our school for stuffies, and, and we're planning our garden. And my ma my great mommy here is reading the secrets you to us for we the world in our school. And my great daddy is reading the Swiss Family Robinson. Do you enjoy when we read to you? Yeah. In the secret zoo, a boy named Noah, his sister is lost. In a secret zoo. <laughs> so, the zoo is closed and he locked himself in there to get his sister. He has two friends named Witchy and Elle. The whole of our days are really about exploring and discovering. And so the best way that we have been keeping track of all of the things is by keeping our journals. And Savannah does a really, really great job at writing in her journal. Do you enjoy your journal? Yeah. Thanks for joining me for the interview, Savannah. We'll see you in the next Rock Out video that you better watch. <laughs> Remember, life is full of lessons, so we live and, and we, we learn. learn. Bye. Thank you, stars.